to the laundromat this morning um, before my husband went to work. These are the dry clothes. I got all the um, groceries over here. I got, whew, I got stuff, guys. I got a lot going on. I got more groceries. I got Walmart groceries. So tomorrow I'm going to be filming that video for you guys. It's going to be my first office makeover for someone. Someone asked me to do it. So I'm super happy to oblige. But yeah, got to get all these groceries out. And I'm going to show you guys what I got from Aldi. All right, guys. So this is an overview of all the things I got from Aldi and from Walmart. I got some stuff back here that, does, that doesn't pertain to this trip. Trying to figure out a pantry solution, guys. We're thinking about putting a pantry, like an open shelf right here. Because look at this. Got stuff down here. Um, my original plan was to have a shelf right here. But this table, if you see it, We are a family of five, so we needed a lot more space than having a little table right here. And I didn't want when you walk in to see the table from the front door. Because this is like a, a little gunshot area but you get what i'm saying so i'm gonna either put some shelves i'm gonna put some shelves here or i'm gonna put some shelves back here too i may do both we'll see how that goes um but i know definitely i'm gonna put them that right there so i'm gonna be doing some baskets i got a picture i'm gonna insert so you guys can understand what kind of shelves i'm talking about but let's get to the grocery haul so over here we got some aldi stuff in walmart i kind of like mixed it together but um i guess some of the things that stick out at walmart are these cotton candy grapes now i did not find these at aldi and i saw somebody on a grocery haul i don't remember k in the little k's i think that's her name but i saw them i saw her buy these at walmart so i went and got some also i needed onions i got some apples all the seasonal fruits guys i'm trying to eat fruit in season it just tastes better and it's cheaper that way um we got some oranges apples grapes pineapples and then i thought these were just the cutest little potatoes we're going to be eating these like in a stir fry i usually do like a lot of steak and potatoes or sausage and potato type things so those are going to turn out really good with that got some waffles these are from aldi all the fruit and everything besides the pineapple grapes are from aldi so got all this stuff from Aldi. These came from Walmart. Um, I just saw them at the checkout line. I fell victim to it. So um, these are the fruit roll-ups, peel and build. I thought these were super fun. Also got some spaghetti because we can't get enough of that. So I got a few things that we don't normally buy, but it's okay. Um, I got this from Aldi. I thought it was super, you know, kitty, you know. So that's why I got it. Have some summer fun. You know, we can't really do much, but we can have some fun at home. We have some milk right here. My friend Yesenia said that she gets organic milk and it lasts a whole lot longer from Sam. So I'm going to try that the next time we go because this milk doesn't last here. We drink milk so much. So we don't really necessarily need it to last long um, because we drink so much of it, if that makes sense. So we're moving on over here. We got some sweetened condensed milk and we got some evaporated milk. Now, um, I didn't know the difference between the two in terms of cooking um and i asked the lady in the store she was shopping and she was like you use this one for like if you're cooking like sweet stuff bacon and like stuff like that and then this one if you're trying to like cook with it for like mac and cheese and if you're like making milk um other milk for kids to drink you can you can use that my mom used to actually i remember her making up milk with that when we were little so i think that was just a cheaper way to do it but i just got both just in case i'm going to be trying to do some like homemade also got this pink salmon if you know you know <laughs> i'm going to be making some salmon balls with these now let me know in the comments if you ever had salmon balls because these are so good or salmon patties however you say it but um these are so good when you um make them up so you put the onions green onions and then you put like egg and then your little breadcrumbs or whatever you want to use or flour i think my grandma used flour and every morning she would make them up and then we have grits on the side so good so i decided to make my husband some and we got some turkey bacon i love all these turkey bacon it's really really good and we got some biscuits because we love biscuits. Can't go wrong with biscuits. Now I'm trying out this for the first time. This is the dry. Let me try to get this to focus. This is the dry botanical um, bubbly watermelon. It's non-alcoholic. If you can see that. Um, but I just wanted to try it out. It was like three dollars and a little expensive just to try out something. But. Um, I think it was $4.49. That's what it was. It was $4.49 and it's like soda water. It's say it's not even water. I was looking for the word water, but it's, it says lightly sweetened sparkling soda. So we'll see. I don't know. I just want to try it out. And then we got some turkey breasts. We got some of these tuna steaks. I love tuna steaks. I always had them in the store. I never really bought them. I think I did buy these before. Yeah, I did. And put them on the grill. It makes it 
tastes really good. Turkey breast because we're going to be doing a lot of moving around and just quick, easy um, lunch. Got some eggs. I always get eggs when I go to Aldi. They're so inexpensive. These little canned drinks. My husband and I don't need to be drinking them, but we try to get the smaller ones just to wean ourselves off um, and to just not have so much carbonation and all that. But we do drink them. So we got some vanilla extract because all my baking stuff was just displaced in the apartment. I think I told you guys before, a few of our things got taken away and a lot of my baking stuff was in that pile. So that's that. We got some olive oil. These were like $2. So I was like, yes, I'm going to get some of those. And I saw that stuff doesn't pertain. Moving on over here. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, so this is what I'm doing with the snacks because we don't have a pantry. These are the snacks I got from Sam's and I just put them in this little bin and also put the mots over there in that bin over there if you can see that. Um, and I'm going to have like the shelves here and then I'm gonna have like um, some more baskets. They're all gonna look alike. So for now, this is what they look like. I just wanted to recycle those boxes that I had because the recycle people came today. So I just wanted to make sure that I had those out the house. And yeah, I think I told you guys about the applesauce. <laughs> Um, and that's it for this haul guys because I think you care I don't know if you care or not but we have like pizza we got some chicken we're going to buy a deep freezer so that's why I haven't really bought a lot of like meat stuff because look at my fridge I don't have to buy those because I already have enough um, to last us a few or at least a week or so um, yeah so that's it for the grocery haul Hi guys, so I wanted to show you guys what I made the other day for dinner. Simple recipe, I strive on dump and go recipes and this one is basically a stuffed bell pepper but I'm laying it out different so I guess you can call it a casserole. But you use ground turkey, I'm using Uncle Ben's rice, bell pe green bell peppers, the everything bagel seasoning, onion powder, traditional spaghetti sauce, salt and pepper and I think I added some um, chicken broth in it also. Um, I don't know if I'm showing that or not, but I did add that to make it a little um, more soupy. Not really soupy, but just for the rice. Anyways, full transparency, you need to boil those green peppers before you put them in the oven. I did not do that. I am sorry. I found out the hard way. Um, I wondered why they tasted a little different because I made this recipe plenty of times and they never tasted bitter. And that's the reason why I forgot to boil them for at least five to 10 minutes and then cut them up and then put them in the oven. So um, you can do it like this or you can have them whole, but my kids don't really, they waste the bell peppers. So I figured I'd just cut three bell peppers and then just cut them in half and then stuff them that way. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just salt and peppering them up and put them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can take us out. Your dogs won't hold. I got this little masher thing from Dollar General um, and it's just easy to just get the meat all grounded up. I'm just adding my onion powder. I don't use measurements. Um, like I say, I try to do dump and go recipes and that's exactly what it is. You just eyeball the mixture however to your liking. Um, some you know, recipes require you to do it but this is just one of those by memory type things. I'm just mixing it all together and I'm adding my spaghetti sauce. I added my spaghetti sauce and then I added a little water into it so that way I can just get all of my money's worth. I told you guys I'm a little cheap but I just try to make sure I stretch every book. I do not have my uh, cup measure so I just use a little glass that I already had. Put a cup of sugar, I'm not sugar guys, rice and just stir it all up and literally you're done with the mixture. That's simple as it gets. And it's all so good. It's really good. I'm gonna let my hair down. Once you have done all that, you just start putting all the mixture or mixture into the individual um, bell peppers. Now, if you're serving this just by itself, you can stop right there and save the mixture for later. But I decided to make it a whole pan of it. And I top it with some Kobe Jack cheese or whatever cheese you have on hand. And just throw it in the oven. And it's so good. This recipe is really great for kids, especially if you're trying to introduce vegetables. Um, this is one way I do it. I just hide them inside like spaghetti sauce and stuff like that. But it's really good and you can chop them up a little smaller. Just remember to boil the bell peppers before you put them into the oven. <laughs> the rest of the day goes, we're going to be getting all this stuff situated. 
painting and all that kind of stuff but in between all that i'm gonna be trying to rest because i've been moving since this morning i need to just like decompress because i'll get very irritable i don't know about you guys when you're doing a lot from sun up to sundown anybody will get irritable okay so i just need to i know myself i have to like make myself slow down and just get a break so that's what i'm gonna do after i put all this stuff up i'm gonna like probably watch a show or something and then just sit and just i may even take a shower because i feel so sticky and just ill so that's what we were doing when my when my husband gets off work he gets off at about 5 30 no he gets off at six o'clock on fridays today is friday he works at a bank so he gets off and he's gonna come home and then we're going to paint. I'm gonna get him busy, guys. I'm gonna be rested up and he's gonna be like, Ashley, you know, no, I'm gonna let him break, but I'm gonna probably already start. Gonna be painting the living room and then this kitchen. And then he, because he's just very like precise and everything, he's gonna be painting the cabinets. So we already kind of started. Um, well, we didn't start, I just looked at the color. So this is what the color is on the bottom cabinets. It's gonna be like a navy blue. Uh, it's actually dark navy, that's the name of it. It's super dark, I want it to be like like not black or anything but I wanted it to be blue but navy blue I didn't want any other color in between and then the top cabinets are going to be white 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 it's gonna be like a pure white well that's the name of it ultra it's ultra pure white by bear both of these are by bear from Home Depot so we're gonna be doing that I don't know if we'll get to the cabinets but I know that I'm gonna start on the on the wall so guys we decided not to paint we just wanted to just hang out you know how fridays are it's just so busy and you just want to just chill when you get home so i threw on those potatoes from aldi onions and bell peppers with some broccoli put them in my cast iron skillet i threw some short ribs in the oven covered in barbecue sauce guys if you like these types of videos give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see and until next time guys like comment subscribe and stay safe love you guys so much bye Thank you.